every bird has a nest every year. Every crab has a hole. Every human being must have a house. As the economy started to grow, we started having the internal migration. As in every country, the city is the glitter. The city is the magnet. People coming down to look for work. We have a new middle class. At that time, let's look at what the St. Lucia society was at the time. A girl would stay at home, at her parents' home, until some gentleman, and I say gentleman, would take her away. You know? Now the, the economy is getting modern. The girls who were working beside, they're not waiting for any gentleman. They want their own homes. So we must provide for them. What did we have? We're on castries. Look at castries. You had castries, the, the, uh, the area where they used to call the Hollywood is not there anymore. Hollywood and the, there was Brooklyn and Hollywood, some little model cottages there. That side, you go up to the chaussee and you go down to Castries River and then you meet the sea. That is the totality of Castries. Then you have the slums of the Conway and the slums of, the, uh, of Marshall and the slums of Washoe. That is the totality of Castries. So you had to get land. And in getting land now, you again closed in by history. You know, history is now box you in. You still have, you still find the land, even in the, all the land in the vicinity of Castries, owned by the old families. Sans Souci was owned by the Barnard family. Miss Clavier owned Entrepot and that area. So we they had the Mourn owned by the War Department in England. Or the Mourn area, Mourn and Kubari, owned by the War Department. So what do you do? So we decided, look, we have to acquire. We are going to buy the lands once it becomes once it comes under urban pressure, we have to acquire. So we negotiated with the Barnard family and we bought the Conway and Sanssouci. We negotiated with the Clavier family and bought Entrepot. We negotiated with the War Department, British War Department, and bought the lands, bought, bought the moon. We created organizations. We created the Urban Development Corporation, the UDC. And the UDC first, it was, it was first the Mourn development. Then it was the Mourn and Sans Souci development. And as we expanded, became the Urban Development Corporation. The first chairman of the Mourn development was Alan Busquet. When Alan became a minister, I then expanded it and I brought in Reginald Mitchell to handle the UDC. And we had persons like Leonard Oji, engineer. He was both engineer, he was architect, he was meta tout fait. And we then, first development was at the Sans Souci. We sold those houses and lots for $17,000 complete. I hear the noise in the market steps now. Don't buy. The place is swamp. It's going to sink, etc., etc., etc. Okay? But people who bought at the time, now they had a sweepstake. Then we went to the Moon, the Moon development. Because of the access road to the moon, it was difficult. 
people didn't have cars. They had to get home. So it, the moon went very slowly until we start improving the road to the moon and then more and more people start living there. So we had the Urban Development Corporation. We, when we were doing the radio, we speak about the radio otherwise. Also, we used the Urban Development Corporation to buy land at Ridwe, Ridwe Orchard, Ridwe Park, UDC, UDC. The people in the eastern area, they wanted lands. What was a, up at Antropo? A cocoa estate. So we acquired and built, put the Antropo development and more and more people going. So we, we, we had, you had to create the blocks, the building blocks, the organizations. So in agriculture, we had the bank. It's not only agriculture. Agriculture is it, it, expanded into fishing, to small businesses, etc. until, of course, it's dismantled now. You know? But that, these things were what they call a piece of social engineering to change. Use your, your organization to change society. So we gave now the middle class, the teachers, the nurses, the civil servants, the persons in the banks, give them an opportunity for the first time to own a piece of St. Lucia through the Urban Development Corporation. We, cre we also now created the, uh, the St. Lucia Mortgage Finance Company so they can go and borrow money from there. We strengthened the cooperative bank, you know, in order to, because Hopefield Bank was at one, one time was the only bank that would lend long to do long long term lending. GIS. Serve